Hello YouTube, this is Bowtie Media with my father. Hello YouTube, do I do I look at you? Do I look at anything you want to look at? Do I, I've never been on camera before. That is a lie, <laughs> and you know it. Um, <laughs> uh, but yes, you're the last, the final family member of mine. To and come the on. best. And the and best. Yeah, I can't say that. Oh, that's on camera. Yeah, that's on camera. Now. You, Babe, I love you. You were the best. I mean, actually... Caitlin, oh, Skylar. <laughs> stop. Oh my God. Stop it. <laughs> Um, so, you know how it goes, but for those that don't, uh, this is the Monster Cat guessing game. The way it works is there's a whole community of people that have voted on these Monster Cat songs uh, every day of the year uh, of 2021, and we slowly are going through to find the best of all time songs. And so these are the songs that have been voted on already, songs that have come out before today's date. Um, uh, and so, these songs have been voted on by the community, and they're either loved or hated. So I'm going to play songs that are like a 10 out of 10 community loves, or like a 0, 1, 2 out of 10 that the community hates. So there's no in-between. There's like an absolutely loved or an absolutely hated. Does that make sense? Clear as mud. Yeah, <laughs> perfect. Yeah. So you just have to guess if the song is loved or hated. And if you'd like to join the uh, Discord there to vote on those songs every day, they'll be in the link in the description below. So this isn't my choice. This is what I think they This think. is what you think the Monster Cat community thinks. What you think, we think about the songs. Do I get to have a personal yes, narrative? Yes, you can absolutely this? have a personal narrative. So uh, it's, trouble. it's a random number of good and bad songs. There could be like 12 good and zero bad, but it's, yeah, there's a sum of both. That's um, tricky. You're trying to trick your father. Potentially. Uh, how do you think you will do? So for con... <laughs> horrible. You think you're going to do horrible? Okay. I think you're the first person to actually come in and think they're going to do horrible. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so why? What, what kind of... What is your music listening experience in the past? You know, there are so many things that I appreciate, value, and love about you. <laughs> uh, so many qualities. How you are giving. You are kind. You're, okay. you're creative. Your choice in music <laughs> is not something that we share in common. So what what do you listen to? What music do you listen to on a normal uh, basis? You know what? I, unfortunately, I'm like a pop top 40 old school yep. rock and roll kind of like yeah. U2. Dua Lipa you actually really I, like? I actually really like Dua Lipa. Sting, R.E.M. back in the day. Okay, I don't even know R.E.M. I know. <laughs> no one else watching this knows that either. Uh, but let's get into it. We've done enough of an intro. Uh, here is, you want to put on the headphones? And here's song number one, okay? Do we know what we share? It's like T-Pain on steroids. It's gonna get weird, isn't it? And just listen, just listen. It always gets weird. That's it. So you can take, so you can take them off. Right. That's it. So that's the drop. I played thirty seconds of like yep. the first five seconds is the pre into the drop. Surprisingly, it was not as bad as I thought it was. Okay. Gonna be. So what do you think? So, Did the Moscow community love it or hate it? Uh, I. I actually like it. Okay. So I think the community hates it. Okay. That's that your logic? That your final answer? That's my final answer. Okay. You are incorrect. Ah. That is a loved song. See, that makes no sense to me. But you like it, so why wouldn't we like it? Because I think that I am diametrically opposed to the EDM culture. Yeah, but you need to remember that EDM isn't just dubstep. It's stuff like that. Like, that is technically EDM. Dua Lipa has EDM elements in it. Let's not speak. Let's, we're not talking about that. <laughs> okay, so you're 0 for 1. 0 for 1 here is song number 2. There we go. It's like Mario Kart had a baby with Satan. It's... <laughs> wow. It's... Wow. <laughs> so, what do you think? Is it loved or hated? Uh, well, I, I'm i not a fan, so I'm guessing the community loves it. Okay, you are incorrect again. That's a hated Gosh. song. Again, just like, we also think that song is bad. 
Like, well, good, because it is bad. <laughs> like, we think that song is bad, and we thought the other song was good. And because of the song is objectively good and bad, I guess. Next song. Okay, here's song number three. Oh, for two. It's like a drunk robot is throwing <laughs> up in its mouth and it can't get it out, can't yeah. get it out. <laughs> it's funny they made the Mario comment on that s second song. There was one in here too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's Mario and Pac-Man in there too. There's yeah. a few no, things. I, I heard that. Okay. Uh, I am guessing I'm not a fan again. Okay. Uh, but I, I, I just think that the, the community likes that song. Okay, why do you think they like it? Uh, did you, th I, I have this feeling that the the medium and the music around EDM is such a unique, appreciated song or uh, musical style that I actually don't have affinity for. <laughs> so when when I when I feel like it's like out of step with what I my ears would go like, oh man, that's beautiful, that's melodic, that makes sense. I'm like, yeah, it's emotional. Uh, all, those are the things that resonate with me. When I think the opposite of that, I think that, well, that's what the EDM community would look like okay. or, or want. So when I hear that, the drunk robot <laughs> throwing up in his mouth, I'm like, of course the EDM community would like that. So okay. I'm gonna go like. Okay. Uh, you are correct. Woo! You're one for three, that was your first correct song. Um, interesting comments, uh, very interesting comments, because EDM, I think, oh, I know it covers a, a bigger aspect of stuff that you don't recognize as EDM, but, um... Prove me wrong. Uh, I, well, I picked songs here, I, <laughs> I can only pick 12 songs here, we're not doing that right now, we're doing something different. So here's not song number four. Okay, what do you think about song number four? I think it sounds like a robotic kazoo. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but there is there there was some musicality to that. It felt uh, like there was this juxtaposition of meter that just didn't feel like it was like synced up a little bit. But okay. that's again. Okay, so loved or hated? Uh, I think they hate it. Okay, you are incorrect. That was another loved one. So you're now one for four. But you said you were going to do horrible, so I mean... Yes, yeah, so I'm doing great! <laughs> yeah, you are. All the people come in, they're like, we're going to... Like, Mom said she's going to be the best and scored tied the lowest. Oh, no, I... And so you said you were going to do horrible, and I guess you're not proving the other way around where you... you I feel like if everyone says they do... If they're going to do well, and then they do horrible, that if you say you're going to do horrible, they should do really well. And But no, they everyone is... I've learned very early in life that if there's anything about grades or achievements... That's not to, you. ...to just lower <laughs> my <laughs> expectations so that I might be able to get through the moment with a little bit of dignity. Okay. And I, uh... Okay. Okay. <laughs> Mom! Uh, we got... Yeah. Okay. Thanks, baby. Uh, okay, here is song number five. You ready for song number five? You're one for four. Okay, song number five. What do you think about song number five? I think it's Taylor Swift trapped in a video game that she can't get out of. What I, is, are these comparisons? I, that's just what I'm thinking of. Uh, so, yeah, I I think that that song is... Uh, I, 
I actually didn't feel like there was a lot of resonance in any way. Like there wasn't a clear uh, melody line. The, the they're just the the rhythmic pattern just felt all over the place. There's okay. too many things happening in it. So I I think the community doesn't like. Okay, that song. you are incorrect again. Of course, you are one for five now. <laughs> just I mean we expected this to happen. So <laughs> let's see if we can score higher than four out of twelve though. <laughs> Uh, here's song number six, just before the halfway. It captivates. Okay, so this reminds me of a club song back in the day. Anyways, that's... Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, uh, and so it feels like a, a rip-off remake of that, okay. but not in a good way. Okay. Um, I, also, I hope you know those are, those songs are in the same genre that have been being made for like 20 years. <laughs> no, really? Yeah, it's called, it's called Hard Dance, that genre of music. Yeah. And so that song you're thinking of, and uh, very popular in like the old school Euro like yeah. club scene. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's that's a genre of EDM, a subgenre of EDM. That's a flat out lie. No, it is not. And you know that. What do you think? Loved or hated? Uh, I think hated. Okay. Uh, you are correct. Yay! You are correct. I don't know if I want to celebrate or be I, sad that I, I think, actually got one right. I, I think you should celebrate. You're uh, two for six at the halfway point. Okay. So you just see another two for six and you tie... Uh, Mom and uh, Caitlin. So, okay. Uh, ready for song number seven? Bring it. Here we go. I take it you had a not great reaction to that song. My soul is offended. <laughs> so did it offend our souls though? It feels like a, my ears have been raped. Oh my gosh. Wow, okay. You realize I'm a pastor, right? Uh, yeah, like that yes. That is my day job. Not, so. I mean, yes. Yes and no. <laughs> you, get a, you get a half pastor card here. I get a half pastor card. Okay. Uh, Loved or hated? The whole point of this uh, video. <laughs> I think the community loves that. Yeah, they, no, they don't. That's what? hated. Again, it's I, a bad song, so we don't like it because it's a bad song. I think I have a warped perspective of the EDM community. Yes, I think you do. I think this might be reconciliatory for it. That's both. good. That's good. Is that the right word? Yeah. Reconcil. Yeah. Um, so you're wrong. Uh, <laughs> that was awful. It it was. I like. I agree with you. Like that's a bad song. That's a really awful song. Why did you make me listen? Because that's the point of this video. That's why you're here. Let's move, let's move on to song number seven or eight. Song number eight. You were uh, two for seven though. Two for seven. Here is uh, track eight. Oh, see, I like this already. It's happy. Okay. It's joyful. Yeah, I want to go jog into this. You do not jog. Not jogging? No, you don't jog. No, I don't. <laughs> it's surf. It's surf for this. You can surf for this. Okay, so that's happy. It's joyful. It feels like there's momentum. There's energy to that. And so I really love it. I think okay. that's great. I would listen to that. Okay. So I would think that the community would not. So okay. that's where I go. But now we've had this conversation. <laughs> okay. And I'm thinking that I might have had a work perspective on the EDM okay. community. So I'm like, maybe they would actually like what I like because up until this point, I've been guessing poorly. Yes, you have. So I like it. I'm hopeful that the community likes it, so okay. I'm going to say they like it. You are incorrect. We do not like this song. It goes against your theory there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I have never 
never going to get this right. Um, so I think I can speak for the community on saying that this is, uh, that's just a very basic kind of boring song. So it may be happy and stuff, but, uh, a lot of the Moscow community doesn't like the poppy stuff and that because you actually like it because it's more poppy and more radio friendly, the community tends to not like those style of songs. So we like the more niche creative, unique tracks that are also good and not just kind of boring like that one was. So you just called me boring? Yeah, a little bit. And <laughs> mediocre. I called your music taste in that. Well, no, no your, pop, pretty, your pop taste. Fair. Actually, not to be fair. fair, though. No, you have pretty good. You do like pretty good music. Oh. <laughs> Put your headphones on. We're going to... It's we're going moment to, we're having. No, no, we're not. We're not. Uh, here is song number nine. You are two for eight. Two for eight. Hits are all over the place. And that's it. I also want to mention, uh, it's funny that you say the hits are all over the place because uh, EDM is the most formulaic real genre of any other music large genre out there because it's like, it's produced on DAWs and in computer stuff They so they know exactly what hits where like U2 and stuff are not hitting on the exact notes every time. Tell that to Mozart. What? No, wait. He did the same. He, like, wouldn't have... No, he would not have done that. <laughs> Your own rule is working against you here. Okay, what do you think of the song? Um, uh, yeah, I, I felt like that, that song was actually mediocre, and I felt like the vocals were just mad. They didn't go anywhere. Uh, so again, I'm not sure how to apply this filter anymore <laughs> okay, because I've on both sides of the fence. You got a 50, 50 shot though. And you've been wrong a lot of the time so far. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to my world. Um, so I would say the community does not like that song. You are incorrect again. <laughs> <laughs> you are two for nine now with three songs left. You need to get at least two of them to tie last place. Um, but that was a loved song. So, uh, I actually think you wouldn't mind that album. They're, that That's the song from a whole album. That's like a almost rockish EDM fusion kind of stuff. So, I, I don't think you wouldn't mind that. Well, I didn't like that song. Okay, bring it up. Uh, here's song number 10. I'm having a slight reaction to this song okay. because and I've had a reoccurring nightmare oh as my gosh. a kid uh, that I am a stick pin in a what? field I of dirt. I don't believe it. Uh, no, I'm true. This is true. That I'm a pin with a little family of pins that live in a matchbox house. And in the distance, and it's just a big flat earth, like just dust, nothing in the field. And in the distance, a massive earth roller, like one of those earth mover yeah. things is mm -hmm. coming, made big wheels. Yeah, yeah. And it's right in the path of the little matchstick house. And this and, song is playing? And the the father comes out to save the family and puts his body up against the... the and the wheel comes and snaps his body and crushes what that are house. You, what does this have anything to do with this? It's a reoccurring nightmare. This song makes me think of that nightmare. Oh my gosh. It takes me to a dark place. Oh my gosh. Okay, so, loved or hated, we're going to stay away from that. <laughs> Therapy, I need. Yes, uh, but right now you need to give me an answer. Uh, I think the community likes that. You're wrong again. <laughs> you gotta have... <laughs> if you hate it, it sounds like nightmare fuel. We probably hate it too. Yeah, see, but then my community, yeah, I, okay. I, I'm, this is, <laughs> this is a reflection of my life, people. You were I, I just, two for 10. You got two of 10 right. There's a 50-50 chance you get every song right and wrong, and you've got 20% of them right so far. Uh, so here's song 11. You got two left. Yeah. 
See, this is what I would classify as typical EDM. Like, when I hear this, I'm like, that's what I heard coming from their bedroom in high school every night. So, give, give your answer, then I'll, I'll tell you why I think that's an interesting comment. Okay, so... Uh... I would say this is a very typical EDM song. It has a little pop to it, but not too much. Uh, it has that uh, very traditional uh, just signature. Okay. Uh, so I think the community likes this. You are incorrect again. Oh my God. Uh, you're two for 11. Um, so that song, it's interesting that you say that it sounds like typical EDM to you because uh, this is old school EDM. So this yeah. is like, that's what I'm saying. So this is EDM from eight years ago. Oh, yeah. And so that's your picture of what EDM is when Skrillex was still making like crazy dubstep Skrillex. stuff. I know that's a name. Um, so you think your per perception of EDM is from like eight years ago. I don't think it's changed. So, um, that's true. Can you redeem yourself in the last song? This Not is, a hot chance. You are two for 11. Here is the final song. Sounds like, like a space fusion of sorts. Uh, okay, so I don't mind that. Okay. Uh, I felt it was melodically interesting. Okay. Uh, there was a lot of uh, uh, opposing what would seem like uh, song, uh, like uh, rhythmic values that shouldn't work together, but then they do. Okay. Uh, so I would say... Now, because I like it, do I think people, the community, would not? Or am I aligning myself more to the community, which clearly I have not done? <laughs> I'm going to say I like it. Therefore, I, I'm still going with my theory that uh, I'm the opposite of what the community would do. So I'm going to say no, they don't like it. You are incorrect for the last <laughs> song. <laughs> So you, uh, you led a two for 12. Uh, also, wow. so that song is my favorite song of all time. Come on! That is my number one favorite song of all time. Have you played that in the cars? 100%. No. You, you have absolutely heard that song multiple times. And that is my number one favorite song of all time. Well, I said I liked it. Yeah. It's because it was probably sub subconsciously uh, yeah, I don't know. in my brain. It was just years of, for this moment. Uh, so two out of 12, uh, that was horrible. Uh, How did they really do? No, you actually got two out of 12. You genuinely, got, I'm not messing with you. You got two out of 12. Uh, that is impressively bad. <laughs> um, what, 20%? I don't know what the percentage is for 12, but you probably got like, what, 14% right of a 50-50 shot every time. So that, like, that's impressively bad. <laughs> That's impressively bad. It's the first time I've heard that. <laughs> uh, is there anything you like to say no, as a? As, is there anything you like to say as a finale? Uh, I, yeah, I would say although this isn't my genre of choice, I'm so thankful that you have found a home here and that your community has found a home here, regardless of what I think, because you really don't care what I think. <laughs> uh, but I, I love what you're doing, and I love the people that you've gathered around you, and I. I just want it to grow and think that what you're doing is awesome and the way that you guys support each other and have affinity with music and even just uh, a comparison between likes and dislikes. Uh, it just starts conversation and conversation leads to relationship and community. And I think that's what we need to do more of these days. So props wow. to you, my son. Uh, proud of you. And uh, although I was horrible, uh, I think that this channel is spectacular. Wow, so. thank you. That's a good, nice lighthearted note to end on a, the worst performance <laughs> of any of the guessing games. So thank you for that. Uh, and with that, I've been Bowtie Media. That is my dad. And uh, we'll see you guys in another video. I'm so sorry, people. Thank <laughs> you.